Yeah, now uh, we just uh, see about the uh, jigsaw puzzle and moving plates as we discussed. So continents are mainly and also oceans are laying on the earth's crust on six major plates and some other minor plates. So usually, so jigsaw puzzle uh, says that uh, continents like a piece of uh, land looks like, you know, pieces and uh, they come across. So as we discuss, so usually we have the land in the one major land, some thousands, billions of years called Pangaea and you have all oceans in one form, one ocean, only one land, one water body. So called Panthalas. and the Pangaea is the land, the only whole land, only one land. So later due to drifting and a lot of other uh, geological activities, it drifted and became uh, pieces of land. And now you see the same pieces like, you know, lying here and there. So some, some billions of years ago, they have drifted and moving plates. You no, know? they are nothing but plates moving and also pushing each other. So where the uh, one plate uh, will touch a meat that exerts some energy which you call as an earthquake also nowadays like you know sometimes due to that sometimes these plates if one plate is you know uh, meeting another plate it exerts energy it exerts some sort of you know features also if two plates and now this plate which is going top it's now you will find the mountains the range of mountains in this part and the other particular uh, plate which is touching here meeting here it is entering into the mantle part of the earth as we know that this is the crust and uh, the mantle so these plates when this uh, end, uh, two will touch one will go top uh, becoming a mountainous range and the other part which is going inside the mantle will melt become a molten rock material in course of time. So that how uh, jigsaw puzzle also is uh, shown that there are moving plates you know moving here then it's not like all the time it will be in this shape for example if I take the Africa like this it's not like now uh, you will see the position of Africa like this but in some billions of years ago it was some position now it turned to left likewise in course of uh, billions of uh, years later also maybe it may go turn here and it will change the position so that's how geologists have concluded that we have six major plates so for example Africa is one major plate and North America is another and South America is the uh, third plate and you have Indo-Australian plate it's very interesting Australia the land now which is away from the Asian part of the continent some billions of years ago it was in the with Asia part only now it drifted moved towards the the eastern part of the earth's crust or globe you can say and we have Eurasia the northern part of uh, India uh, is it was with the, the Europe a plate long back ago and it was the same plate so Eurasia plate and you know we have and a Pacific so as we discussed oceans are also nothing but they are on the crust part only it's not like they are away from the uh, continent but they are laying in the other part of the plate called Pacific plate and we have uh, minor plates like Nazca and also 
Arabia. These are all uh, minor plates. And we have the specific with Arctic Antarctica plates. So these are the major plates and we have minor plates. So these plates as we discussed here, they may meet and move and this crust as we already learnt in our earlier classes, the upper part of mantle is pliable. Yes students, now uh, we discuss about the uh, sea floor spreading. So how sea floor is spreading uh, day by day. So if you take the example of uh, Pacific Ocean, if we uh, take the uh, mid uh, ocean, uh, that ridge, you know, so usually we see uh, there are uh, some uh, cracks, you know, due to the uh, conventional currents and pressure from the mantle. You know, the lava, which is, you know, very molten and very hot, is putting the pressure inside the, the Earth's crust and which is making the, you know, crust warping and it will stretch and forming some sort of cracks. So these cracks slowly will uh, you know, uh, give the way to the lava to spread into the, the cracks zone. And once if the lava is entering into the cracks and it will become a brittle uh, and also some uh, over time that will collapse. And once if it collapses, there is a depression formed. And once the depression is forming, water which is there in the, the ocean is entering into that depression forming the, the, the widening the, the new uh, ocean floor. And at the same time, here the lava which is coming out becoming magma and suddenly if it is uh, cooling down due to the water forming basaltic rocks. These basalt rocks and forming this widening the, the earth's uh, area is becoming that floor and spreading. So likewise we have you know a sea floor spreading also we call also ocean floor spreading the both are the same. So here the floor is uh, you know spreading due to the magma which is coming and erupting out of the crust.